So the weather out there certainly not helping that situation, Chelsea, it's but not back here at home. We can't complain. We can't, but I think by Monday there will be a lot of people complaining. Mm. Hate to bring it to you, but this gorgeous weather is not going to last. By Monday, we're bringing back the rain, some downpours, but until then, a really nice weekend that we get to enjoy. So let's talk about our weather watchers. First of all, thank you all for waking up early, checking in with us with your observations. You guys are our eyes on the ground. We have 62 degrees here for our weather watcher. It looks like this is probably Ed and Chesterfield. A little hard to pull them up. Sometimes this thing is so unfriendly with my fingers. Let's see how many times. One, two, Three. Not happening today. Not happening today. Here we go. I'll pull up the list. All right. Yeah. Ed and Chesterfield. I was right. 62 degrees there. Uh, we've got Jerry and Bluebell right around 60. Dolores and Newark, 60 degrees where she lives. John and Percocy at 57. Peter and Lawrenceville at 62. And Carrie and Mount Laurel right around 61 degrees this morning. We'll show you other temps across the region. Of course, these are reported via um, observing stations like at the airport, et cetera. So 66 degrees at Philadelphia International. We have 64 in Wilmington. We are in the low 60s down the shore. It's 59 in Allentown, 57 in the Poconos. Very refreshing start to the day there. And we have low 60s otherwise for Cape May, Stone Harbor, Ocean City, mid 60s down into Rehoboth. Now look at this water temperature, 62 degrees, and I can show you other water temperatures along the coastline as well. Low 60s or mid 60s, depending on the buoy located offshore at each of these locations. So with this type of water temperature and an onshore wind that we're going to be developing later on this afternoon, more out of the east, that means our shore points are going to be a little bit cooler than everybody else will be in the 80s for their inland. However, down here we're looking at 70s for those high temperatures today. Storm scan shows, well, there's no rain in the, right on storm scan right now. No rain in the forecast today and really for the whole weekend for that matter. We're quiet. We do have some clouds here and there and we'll call it a mixture of sun and clouds throughout the day today. We'll deal with a lot of a lot more high clouds really than anything. We have low pressure located to our south, high pressure above that. So that's really suppressing all of this moisture keeping us dry throughout the weekend, but by Monday, that's all going to change. So here's a look at future weather. Again, we'll continue to see that moisture suppressed and even develop a good amount of sunshine later on this afternoon. This evening, looking good, we'll go with partly cloudy skies. On Sunday, we start the day out with sunshine. However, we will see increasing clouds, perhaps a stray shower around as we head into the overnight hours, uh, Sunday night into Monday. Otherwise, it's really going to be Monday where the bulk of the rain starts to move in, starting with the morning commute and look, it just continues to fill and stream on in as we head into the afternoon and also the evening. So Monday is going to be a fairly wet day for us with some pretty hefty downpours. Looking at the forecast today, though, looking at sun and clouds, very comfortable, a high of 83 degrees, winds out of the northeast at about 5 to 10. In the Poconos, great day for a hike, 75 degrees, a really gorgeous day up in the Poconos. Poconos. So let's take you right now to a look at your eyewitness weather seven day forecast and overall we're talking about some really nice weather in store for the weekend. As I mentioned that changes by Monday with downpours and a couple of thunderstorms mixed in 80 degrees on Tuesday as we start to dry out by the afternoon sunshine returning on Wednesday. Jan back over to you.